Stephen B. Sample, The Contrarian's Guide to Leadership. Take a step into the mind of a contrarian leader with Stephen B. Sample's The Contrarian's Guide to Leadership. In this book summary, discover how thinking gray, being open-minded and intellectually independent, can help you become a more efficient and successful leader. Delve into the art of listening and learn how essential it is for understanding different viewpoints. Explore the idea of open communication and how crucial it is for thriving in a bureaucracy. As you read, you will develop an appreciation for both classic texts and modern media, and learn to harness the power of decision-making and delegation. The Power of Thinking Gray The ability to conceptualize a variety of ideas is essential in leadership, according to the concept of thinking gray. Contrarian leaders maintain intellectual independence and avoid forming opinions until they've heard all pertinent facts. Leaders who can think freely and consider a range of ideas are not only more creative, but also more open-minded, decisive, and able to think for themselves. While black and white thinking can lead to disaster, thinking gray is the best defense against the herd instinct. Although employing gray think in routine situations may be counterproductive, dilemmas demand it. A leader's vision is critical, but the ability to think differently is also pivotal. In essence, a leader who can think gray can envision how different organizational structures and combinations will affect their company's development, nurture free thinking among associates, and implement their ideas. The Art of Artful Listening In the book summary, the author highlights how listening is a crucial quality of great leaders. Contrarian leaders listen more and talk less, genuinely wanting to hear different viewpoints. They must be able to think for themselves and understand others' thinking. To turn listening into an art, one must be genuinely interested, deliberately drawing out the speaker, paraphrasing, and actively listening. Knowing when to stop listening is another rarely recognized component of artful listening. The leader who thinks gray must also learn to listen gray, taking the time to listen carefully at the beginning can save a lot of wasted time at the end. The author suggests that open communication with structured decision-making is one way to achieve a higher level of clear communication in a bureaucracy. Finally, the leader has to be able to imagine different organizational combinations in their minds and see how they will play out. Great leaders never stop evolving, they are always changing, never static. Leading with caution. Rushing into a leadership role can be costly. Rather than immediately taking control of an organization, a new leader should observe for a few months to gain a better understanding of the company's dynamics, problems, and people before making any significant changes. This is particularly important during a crisis, as rushing to address issues without fully comprehending them can lead to costly mistakes. Taking a more measured approach to leadership can ultimately lead to more effective decision-making and long-term success. Leadership and Dealing with Experts Leaders must know their goals precisely to deal with experts effectively. According to George Bernard Shaw, every profession is a conspiracy against the public, and it's essential to be aware of this. If you feel uncertain, someone with greater expertise may subordinate your views. Therefore, you must be sufficiently knowledgeable about the technological fields within your organization. A leader's approach to working with attorneys is particularly crucial in today's world where regulations are continually evolving. A leader must question any expert who claims that a particular matter is too complicated to explain to a layperson. While experts may be necessary, a leader should not blindly follow their advice. Developing the right skills to deal with experts is essential in today's fast-paced business environment. As a leader, you must think, gray, which is an extraordinary characteristic that requires effort to develop. Timeless Lessons from Classic Texts The importance of reading classic texts and being a contrarian when consuming news. In a world where the modern media can shape our understanding of events, it's essential not to overlook the value of classic texts. These super-texts, such as Homer's Odyssey or Machiavelli's The Prince, offer timeless truths about human nature that have persevered through the centuries. These books remind us that we're not so different from our forebears. 
The media has become an ever-present part of our lives, but it's crucial not to let it dictate our understanding of events. The press often follows herd mentality and pays little attention to the subtle gray shades of reality. As consumers of news, we should read primarily for entertainment and never assume that all important facts are presented. A contrarian's healthy attitude toward the press is one of suspicion and critical thinking. Leaders, whether contrarian or not, are heavily influenced by what they read. So, it's crucial to be selective with our reading material. By returning to classic texts and being a contrarian when consuming news, we can cultivate a depth of critical thinking that is essential to navigate the complexity of the world around us. The Art of Contrarian Decision-Making As a leader, delaying decisions can be a strategic advantage. While the urgency to tackle every issue may work well for managers, it is not sound advice for leaders. This book provides a contrarian perspective that guides leaders to adopt two key decision-making rules. First, leaders should wait to decide, providing more time and focus on the most crucial decisions. Second, they should delegate decision-making as much as possible, encouraging subordinates to develop vital decision-making expertise. This approach builds a team of skilled decision-makers and frees up time for leaders to focus on strategic issues. However, the book also highlights the dangers of delaying decisions for too long. By following this approach, leaders can avoid falling into the trap of hurried and suboptimal decision-making, cultivating instead a culture of sound and strategic decision-making. Leadership Techniques Leaders can use various techniques to bring about desired changes in an organization without directly attacking it. One such technique is to create circumstances that require a specific course of action, such as reducing staff or changing mission statements. A leader's inner circle should consist of individuals who share common interests and whose attitudes and biases are well understood. Sometimes, leaders must reassure people without actually taking any significant action. In rare cases, leaders may have to act against the advice of their subordinates to prevent civil chaos or foreign domination. According to Machiavelli, a leader must remember that no policy is without risk and resort to almost any action to prevent chaos. Also, luck plays a significant role, and fortune favors the bold. When dealing with a newly conquered territory, leaders should commit harsh acts initially and distribute benefits gradually over time. Overall, a leader's primary role is to protect from foreign invasion. Ethical Leadership To become an ethical leader, one must know their core beliefs and be willing to defend them. Effective leaders should also work hard for their team and remove any obstacles they face. Providing direct access and support is crucial to create a successful team. Stephen B. Samples, The Contrarian's Guide to Leadership, takes you on an insightful journey through the complex world of leadership. Open your mind to the concept of thinking gray and learn how leaders can stay intellectually independent. Emphasize the power of listening to foster a better understanding of different perspectives. Promote open communication within your organization while maintaining structure and hierarchy. Embrace both classic texts and modern media to inform your decision-making process. Finally, master the art of delegation and understand when to take action. By embracing these contrarian principles, you can become a more adaptable and effective leader.